So David, you're an Israeli Jew yeah. that believes in Jesus. I do, I do. Yeshua, you know. Yeah, Yeshua. How does that happen? <laughs> I tell you, it has to be supernatural, right? How does a Jew come to believe in Jesus, right? It's, uh, it's really not normal for that to happen. Right. There's been so much animosity and misunderstanding about who Yeshua is. Yes. And Jesus, as, as you call him, right? Yeah, so for me, you know, it was just, I had an encounter. I mean, he just kind of showed up into my life one day at one particular moment. Where were you? I, I was living in the Sinai Desert. Of all places. Of all places, right? <laughs> the end of the world and you turn left, it was in no man's land. And I lived on a sand dune under a palm tree for three years. You know, I was, I was looking for something. I was looking for meaning and purpose in life. The world is so broken. And, and, I, and I was looking for some, some meaning, something worth living for, something that, that, you know, you could fall in love with and want to live your life yeah. Uh, yeah. For, for a purpose and for a reason. And I also don't understand who I was. So anyway, while I was sitting there on this sand dune and I was a fisherman, Okay, I had a net and I used to go out into the Red Sea and fish for my food and wow. things like that. So one day a guy walked by and he gave me a Bible, a copy of a Bible. And this Bible was not like any other Bible that I had ever seen before because it also had the New Testament in it. Ah. The New Testament, right? Yeah. Now we Jews, we don't read the New Testament. That's Even right. though it's a Jewish book, it was written by Jews here in Israel, right? Yeah. And as a matter of fact, it's the most, famous, well-known book in the history of mankind. I don't know if you know this, but it's been published more than any other book in the history of mankind. Yes. It was written by our people yes. here in this land. That's right. And our people don't read it. It's a... Uh, That's right. Yeah, it's, you know uh, how many arguments that I've had with people on the streets? I, just by saying, have you read the New Testament? It starts this huge argument, right. this big debate. Right. And they, they never even opened the book. Right. And you know the first sentence of the New Testament is like the most Jewish sentence you could ever be. What is that? It is, the, this is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, son of David, son right. of Abraham. Ah. When, I was, when I was in church one day in, in the States, and I saw, and this is before I came to faith in Yeshua, I saw Jesus on a mountain talking with Elijah and Moses, and I went, what? What are these guys doing on half, this side of the book? Have to do, <laughs> right, with Yeshua. Right. right, right. So anyway, I'm reading this book, and it's really speaking to me. You know, I had this experience, it was almost as though I was seeing my life reflected in the Bible. The beauty of it, the power of it, it goes right down to your to your heart and right. to your soul. It yes. speaks about things like the meaning of life, the mm -hmm. true purpose of why we're here on this planet. And so I was contemplating all of these things. But you know, I opened up the Bible that I was given. And I, at the beginning, in the Old Testament, or the Tanakh that we call it, yeah. I, I came to this chapter from Isaiah chapter 53. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading this and I says, my goodness, this is speaking about Yeshua. Yes. So clearly. Yes. I said, how can this be? We don't have Yeshua in our, in our Bible. He's right. not part of our even history, you know? Uh, how can this be? So I looked at the front of the Bible. I said, what kind of Bible is this that they have, Yeshua, they have Jesus in the Bible, right? In the Hebrew Bible. And I go in the front and I say, it was a, uh, it was a Christian translation mm -hmm. of the Bible. And I said, this, this is not true. The Christians made it up that Yeshua was the Messiah. And then they changed the translations to make it look like right. he's in the book. A typical Jewish argument. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Right, yeah, yeah. right, right. He's not the Messiah. Right. There's not spoken about that. But I was so moved by my reading yeah. of the New Testament that I decided I'm going to figure out, could it be that it speaks about Yeshua? In my Bible, in my Tanakh. Yes. So I don't know if you know, but in Jerusalem, we have this, it's called the Dome of the Scroll. It's the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. It's the, the oldest manuscript that we have of the Hebrew Bible. And I went and I searched in there all day long. I found Isaiah chapter 53. Of course, it's not divided into chapters there or verses. You have to kind of look at all the texts. I finally found it. And I'm reading in the Hebrew, and it's the same word for word as you have in the English translation mm. in that book that, yeah. that this guy gave me. 
And I was just overwhelmed. I said, how can it be? Yeshua is part of our Hebrew culture. Yeshua is talked about in the prophets. Yes. And I discovered that it wasn't only in Isaiah, it was also in Jeremiah and all through the Hebrew Bible. And all that was lost. So this led me to come to a place where I really thought, well, you know what? I really need to complicate to not complicate, to contemplate <laughs> on this thing. How can it be? I mean, the figure of Yeshua is, you know, the most well-known person of all of history. That's he was right. born here in my land, amongst my people. I need to look into this. And then, and then it happened to me. One day I was sitting on this sand dune. I was fixing my fishing net. And all of a sudden it just came to me, Yeshua, just, I guess you would say, revealed himself to me yeah. that he is the Messiah. Yeah. And it changed my life, completely changed my life. You know, I was kind of a person, I used to always walk around with my head down like this, mm -hmm. you know? In fact, I used to find money all the time <laughs> because I was just this kind of, you know, sad, sad sack kind yeah. of a guy, you yeah, know? Yeah. And when Yeshua revealed himself to him as the Messiah, and I understood that he came to forgive me for my sins, yes. right? And all the things that I was seeing in the Bible about myself and what I was like and what I had done in my life, the things that I did with my hands, the things that I had used my mouth for and my eyes to look at, and all of that was all of a sudden lifted yes. off of me. And I looked up around me and it was like the first time I saw the green leaves of the tree. It was the first time I, I, I recognized the beauty of the world that we live in. It was like I, I, I became alive mm. for the first time. I think at the time I was about 22, 23 years old. Wow. And it was like the first time I had ever seen the beauty of the world that we live in. And let's have a seat. Yeah, it just, it, tra it, it transformed my life. And, wow, and, so, and so before, we, before we close here, what was your background like that you came from into faith in Yeshua? Uh, it was a typical Jewish family, you know, we were a uh, traditional Jewish family. Religious? Yeah, no, religious uh, very much, but traditionally, you know, we went to synagogue on the holidays yeah. and on Shabbat and at Bar Mitzvah. And, put on tefillin and, you know. Did your faith ever cause any family problems? Oh, yeah, yeah. My family completely rejected me. They didn't want to have anything to do with me after that. But over the years, particularly when I started having grandchildren, particularly my mother, you yeah. know, she, she couldn't stay away from that. But over the years, they became much more respectful. They saw what it did to my life. Yep. Not only as a person, they saw how I changed. I learned to respect my parents. But they also saw my connection to Judaism and to this land. It got much deeper yep. and much richer. You know, I kind of fell in love with, with my heritage as a Jew through Yeshua. And, that, and they really began to respect me and my faith yeah. uh, over time. Same thing happened to me. I'm so happy. So what are you doing today? Well, I'm a journalist. Yeah. I'm the editor of uh, Israel Today. Uh -huh. It's an international uh, magazine online and in print. Yes. And I write uh, uh, stories connecting between what's happening in Israel today and the Bible uh, to give a biblical dimension of the, of the, of the daily news yeah. here in Israel. Yeah, there's an old comedy that I used to like. I'm not going to mention the name of the movie, but uh, he, he okay. says, brothers don't shake hands, brothers got a hug. So thank you so much for sharing your wonderful testimony with me and with the audience. And if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when new videos come out. 